Good day everyone, welcome back to our topic for today, Rise and Shine, good day. Our topic for today is all about plate tectonics. So for grade 10, if you're a grade 10 learners, using MOPS, you will discover that volcanoes, earthquakes, epicenter, and mountain ranges are not randomly scattered in different places but are located in the same areas. Alright, kung mapansin nyo doon, hindi, bakit ang mga earthquake, mga epicenter, ang mga vulkan, at ang mga mountain ranges, hindi sila kung saan-saan matatagpuan, kundi nasa iisang area lang sila. Dito natin malalaman, bakit nga ba? Now, this will lead to an appreciation of play tectonics, a theory that binds many geologic processes such as volcanism and earthquakes. Our most essential learning competency Describe and relate the distribution of active volcanoes, earthquake epicenters, and major mountain belts to plate tectonic theory. But before that, let's have a practice. Okay, what is the answer on this perfect one word? We have the bread, the dough, um, and we have... Part of the earth, what's that answer? Alright, crust. Okay. For lesson one, at the end of the lesson, you should be able to describe the earth's lithosphere, second, differentiate continental crust and oceanic crust. Lithosphere. Ano nga po pag sinabi natin lithosphere? Lithosphere is a solid and rigid outer layer of the planet. As you can see on this, we have two main structures of the Earth or two main structures. On that lithosphere, we have the inner and we have that outer. This one is the inner and we have the outer. The structure of the Earth, especially on the inner part, we have what we call the crust. This one, the crust, we have the mantle, and we have the core. We have the inner core and the outer core. Now, what do you mean by crust? Crust, yung crust ka pero, yung crust mo siya pero hindi ka crust. Mm. <laughs> so, crust is the outermost layer of the earth. So, dito tayo mostly nakatira. Diyan, sa crust na yan. Nandiyan tayo. Nandiyan mo din matatagpuan ang crust mo. <laughs> Char. So, that is composed mainly of aluminosilicates. The crust. When we say aluminosilicates, is a minerals containing aluminum oxide and silicon oxide. We have the mantle, the outer core. The outer core, the liquid part, the inner cores, the solid part. Alright, on this part, so on this, this is an example of the lithosphere and the lithosphere crust. It is the uppermost solid mantle. So, dito tayo. Ito yung ating tinatapakan. Ito saan ako yung ating mga bahay. Then after that, crust. Let us review. Mantle. We have the mantle here. We have the asthenosphere. We have the core. We have the liquid. The solid. The outer core. And we have the inner core. Why solid? Because sa sobrang init, nag-solidify na siya. Ano? Parang pag bumili ka ng banana pew, mapansin mo yung sugar, pag naiinitan yung sugar, nag-liquify. Diba? Na, natutunaw yung sugar pag, sab, pag mainit. Pero dahil sa sobrang inip, nagsasolidify na siya. Kaya makapansin mo, sa mga sugar, may mga tumitigas yung sugar dahil sa sobrang inip niya. So, some, that's someone, somewhat like on the inner core. So, we have part of the crust and we have two types of crust. We have the continental crust. Alright, this one, 
continental crust is thicker while oceanic crust is thinner. So that's this, this is the difference between the two. We have the continental, dito ko sa nakatay ating mga bay, and we have the oceanic crust beneath the ocean or on the ocean floor. Now, when we say oceanic crust, oceanic crust is relatively thinner but denser than continental crust. No, mas manipis daw siya. Sabi dito, it is 7 to 10 kilometers thick which average thickness is 8 kilometers and is found under the ocean floor and made of dense rocks which are basalt. So, ang rock daw ng ocean na oceanic crust ay tinatawag nating basaltic or the basalt one. That is a compose of that dense rock. At ito yun nasa ilalim ng, kaya nga kung maglalangoy ka sa dagat, pag langoy ka ng langoy, pag malalim, hanggat di mo pa naabot yung pinakasahig niya, yung ocean floor, so yun yung tiyatawag natin na oceanic crust. So hindi ka pa nakakaabot sa oceanic crust. Alright, kaya kung mapansin mo, sa ilalim ng karagatan, hindi lang yun water. May crust pa doon. Or may lupa pa. And we have what we call the continental crust. Continental crust is thicker but less dense compared to oceanic crust. It is mainly made up of silicon, oxygen, and aluminum. Sabi nga natin kanina, silico, aluminum, silico, oxide. Also, it's made up of calcium, sodium, and potassium. The thickness of the continental crust is mostly 35 to 40 kilometers. And this content, continental crust found under land masses and is made of less dense rock called granite or granitic. You know? So, on the ocean, on the ocean ocean crust, it is basaltic or basalt. While on the continental crust, it is made of granite. And for that comparison, we have for continental crust, it is thicker, average of 35 to 40, while ocean crust, thinner, averages from 5 to 7 kilometers or um, approximately 8 kilometers. Um, continental crust is older, up to 4 billion years old, while oceanic crust is younger. 200 million years old or less. It is less dense than ocean crust, while oceanic crust is more dense and iron rich. And continental crust is varied composition, generally called the granitic or made of granite, while the oceanic crust composed of dark volcanic basaltic rocks. Alright? And that's the end of our lesson one. For lesson two, let us answer this first. What is the answer on that four picks one word? We have the frame, the Great Wall of China. Parang bakod. Hindi totoo ng tubig. What's the answer? All right, boundary. Okay, next, you have another one, this one. What's that picture? This picture? How about this one and this one? What's the answer? Five letters. Alright. Plate. Now, for our lesson two, at the end of the lesson, you should be able to name major and minor plates in the Earth's crust. Second, describe the movements of the plates. Okay, alamin natin. Now, the entire lithosphere is broken into segments of land masses called plates. And you can call them lithospheric plate, tectonic plates, or simply plates. Ano? Kumapansin nyo, sabi, Yung land masses, kaya ay parang basag na plato or sabihin na natin plates, may mga plates. At yan ang 
Yan ang bumubuo sa ating mga land masses. At yung land masses na yon kapag ito ay nagkahiwahiwalay o nabasag or nasira or nagkahiwahiwalay like in Visayas, kung makapansin nyo sa Visayas, yung island niya ay hiwahiwalay. So, we can consider that as plates. Okay? And we have seven major plates in the world and the rest are the minor ones. And what are those plates? Okay, can you name it? Nakikita nyo ba? Nakikita kong major plates? Alright, let's start. We have Pacific Plate. Okay? Pacific Plate. Yan, kung kapansin nyo, Philippines, Filipino Plate. We are in the Pacific Plate. Second, North American Plate. Okay. Damang laki. Ang lawak ng plate na to. We have the Eurasian plate. Okay. What else? African plate. The other one, South American plate. Or, sabi na natin, continents. Kaya nga, these plates, the seven major plates, since this is a kind of continental crust also. Australian plate. And we have the Antarctic plate, or seven major plates, or the seven continental crust or plates in the world. These are the major, seven major plates. And the rest are the minor plates. And mostly of the rest ay part ng oceanic crust or oceanic plates. Alright? Mapapansin nyo bakit yung may Eurasian plate dito, may Eurasian plate din. Alright? Kasi yung kabila niya, nandun sa kabila kung ibibilog natin yung mapa. di ba? Di ba sabi nga natin, what is the shape of the earth? Oblate spheroid. Okay? Hindi siya a circle. Hindi siya round. It is an oblate spheroid. Next. Now, these plates float on the asthenosphere. So, ito yung asthenosphere. O yung ilalim, yung part na nato ng mantle. So, sa ilalim ng mga plates na to, meron tayo tiyatawag na asthenosphere. Beneath that, causing lithosphere to move constantly in slow motion. So, malalaman natin, bakit nga ba nag-move slowly ang mga plates? And, ang tawag natin doon sa slow movement na yon ng mga plates sa taas, this movement of the lithosphere is called tectonics. Ano? Pag nag-move na siya, so, nagkakaroon ng tiyatawag natin mga tectonics. And, therefore, the theory which suggests that the Earth's crust is made up of plates that interact in various ways is called plate tectonics. Kaya nagkaroon tayong tiyatawag na tectonic plate theory. Ano? Kasi sabi, ito daw ay ang Earth's crust ay naging plate, ibig sabihin nagkahiwahiwalay. At dahil sa paghihiwalay na yun, nagkaroon ng movement of the plates na tinatawag natin tectonic. Kaya nabuo ang theory na tinatawag natin plate tectonic theory. So when we say theory, it is not yet scientifically and universally accepted. So the theory that plate tectonic, para daw siya ang dun sa earth, para siyang basag na itlog na may mga crack. And this crack na to, ito ay mga plates. At pag nag-move na sila, dahil nag na, nagkakaroon ng tiyatawag natin tectonic. Or plate tectonics. At kung makapansin nyo, doon sa mga plates na yon meron silang crack. Ano? So sa bawat plates, Yan, may mga cracks, yung mga white na yan. At anong tawag natin sa cracks na yan? Ang tawag natin dyan ay plate boundary. Alright? That is a plate boundary. And the moving lithospheric plates, pwede itong mag-produce ng earthquakes, 
volcanoes, and other geologic events and features. Plate movement. So, sabi, ang plate movement daw, may mga plate na pwedeng magbanggaan, may mga plates na pwedeng maghiwalay, at may mga plates na pwedeng nagkikiskisan lang. And as you can see here, we're going to identify ano nga bang klaseng plates o ano bang meron doon sa plates na yon. Sila ba ay nagkiskisan, naghiwalay, o nagkabanggaan? So, itong black arrow, eh, this one represents that plates move towards to each other. Okay? Nagbanggaan. The yellow one, plates slide to each other. Ibig sabihin, nagkiskisan. And this one, the red, plates move away to each other. Naghiwalay. Now, let us identify. Can you identify? Alin dyan sa mga plate na yan ang nag-move towards each other or nagbanggaan. Can you give me an example on the black arrow? Yes, we have the Philippine plate and the Eurasian plate. Okay? Mapansin nyo, karoon sila ng banggaan. What else? How about yun namang naghiwalay? Ayan. So, this one, nagkiskisan. So, we have the yellow, nagkiskisan lang or nag-slide si North American Plate and we have the Cocos Plate. At ang naghiwalay, ang example natin ay Juan de Fuca Plate and the Eurasian Plate. So, these are the examples of those plates. At malalaman natin, ano bang mangyayari? Pag nag-move yung mga plate na yan. So, i-discuss ko yan sa topic natin na plate boundaries. Thank you for listening. God bless you. That's all for topic one. Thank you.